If you've come here for a serious review of this sewing machine, you may want to find a different video. This is not the one for you. It's my birthday! I officially turned 40, which is a really weird age to say out loud because most days I feel like I'm 18 and I question every day why people put me in charge of other people, but here we are. So first, I wanted to say thank you to all the new folks that are here. I put out a little short on YouTube just kind of asking for seven more subscribers because my goal was to get to 40 by the time I was 40 and y'all came through big time. By the time I woke up on my birthday morning, I think I was at 64. I know it's small beans in the grand scheme of YouTube, but to me that was a pretty big deal. So thank you to everyone who is new here and thank you to everyone who has been here since the beginning. Let's talk about my sewing machine. In this review, I'm not going to go over every single feature of this machine because to be completely honest, I don't use every single feature, but I will also talk about why this machine is worth the price you pay for it. In all transparency, my husband gave me this machine for my birthday a few years ago and I'm not positive what price he paid for it, but I think it was a little less expensive than it is now. I think right now on Amazon it's about $500. I want to say maybe it was on sale when he bought it for maybe $400. The reason why I wanted this machine in the first place was because my old machine that I've had for decades is squeaky and it I don't know. It was just annoying. There were too many futzy things to deal with on it. So I wanted a machine that was a little more powerful, a little bigger, and something that I didn't have to fuss with as much. So like I said, if you just want to know the down and dirty why you should buy this machine and what you won't use on it, stick around. So here's the machine. It is a little bigger than perhaps other sewing machines, but with that size comes a little bit more power. There are a lot of things on this machine that I have never used. It has a whole bunch of embroidery stitches and letter stitches that it will do for decoration. The only time I've ever used these is just to test to see if I like them, and I don't really care for any of them. I don't think I'll ever really use these, but that's okay. It also has a variety of stitch sizes. It'll go all the way up to 5.0 for stitch size, and I believe it goes all the way down to 0.08, and then it will do a wide range of back and forth sizes as well. It has the standard buttonholes, zigzag stitch, and all of that is great. I think it does buttonholes very, very well. The times that I've had problems sewing in buttonholes have been user error, not machine error. But those are not necessarily the reasons why I love this machine so much. One, this machine is incredibly easy to thread. It takes care of the tension itself. I have not figured out why it's so good with tension, but I never have to mess with it, ever. It just loops through here and I stick the thread in the needle and it's just magically there. I don't I don't get it. Also, I know there are people that love top-loading bobbins, and I know people that loathe top-loading bobbins. For me, I want my machines to be easy to use, and I want them to be fast. This is just a lot faster and easier than the front loaders that I've had in the past. There is a little feature to help you load your needle, to thread the needle. I have never figured out how to use it and it doesn't bother me one bit. But if you're someone that maybe struggles with threading a needle, this machine has it. However, out of everything on this machine, the one thing I love the most is that it doesn't require a pedal. When I sew, no, not just when I sew, just in life, I generally don't like sitting like a normal human being in a chair. I don't know why, but I just don't like it. And so getting into sewing projects with a machine that has a pedal, you have to sit like a normal person in a chair, and I hate it. So this machine has a push button start stop and a speed gauge. 
And so if you are learning how to sew, if you have children that are learning how to sew, this machine is amazing because you can set the speed and it stays consistent the whole time. I can sit on the floor when I work on projects. I can put this on any table. I can stand up. I can put my feet up to use it. I can really put this machine anywhere and I don't need to add the pedal onto it. It has one, actually getting ready for this video, I tried to remember where it even plugged in and I couldn't remember because I've never used the pedal for this. When I was in the market to get a new machine a few years ago, I was also starting to look at getting into leather work. So I wanted a machine that was powerful enough to go through leather. This machine will go through upholstery leather, it'll go through garment leather, as long as you have leather needles to go with it. And with that, it'll go through heavyweight fabric. I have sewed canvases with this and thick upholstery fabric, and this does just fine. You need to make sure you have sharp needles, but I think that's kind of a rule all of the time with sewing. When you purchase this machine, it also comes with a large deck that will slide into this general region. That's kind of my down and dirty review of this. When I get machines, I want them to be quick to learn and I want them to be dependable. And I've had this one for, I believe, three years now and it has never had a problem. Let me rephrase that. All of the problems that I've had with this machine are because I have not used it correctly. And that's it. That's why you should buy this machine. Yeah, it's a little expensive, but it is dependable it's fast and you can sit on the floor and sew your little heart out. And really, who doesn't want to just sit on the floor in their PJs and sew some cool shit together? Everybody does. So that's it for this really quick and hopefully useful review of my machine. If you're in the market for one and you're looking to invest a little bit of money, I would recommend this one. It's amazing. Again, thank you to everybody who is new, who saw my little plea for help and hit the subscribe button. I've got plenty of other projects in the works right now that I can't wait to share with you. But really, starting the whole YouTube thing has gone better than I thought it would. It's the little, little victories that I get because people keep watching and keep supporting me that really have been pretty cool. So thank you for making my birthday kind of neat and I can't wait to show you the next few things I've got in the works. So if you're new and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like the video and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. I really should write scripts because this is hard on the fly.